guys in today's video I'm on my way to a customer's house where I installed my first um, three flex and her thermostat's acting like it's not working so this may be my first trouble call on these grease this one's about three and a half maybe four years old now so stay tuned let's we'll see if we can figure it out Okay, I figured I'd just jump to the chase. The thermostat is blank and it has no 24 volts. So I am under here fixing to dig into it. Seems like every one of these screws is stripped out, almost all of them. <clears throat> and this thing has barely seen any service. <clears throat> since I put it in. Okay. Let's see if I put a fuse on this one. I'm not sure I did. It does not look like I did. Get my meter. This one does have 5kW heat strips in it. I um wasn't sure about not installing heat strips when I first started installing these, but now around here I don't use heat strips. I got zero volts. Two forty here. Hmm. Lovely. At least that was easy. Not a problem with the system or the thermostat. And I think I've got one of those on my on my truck. Looks like we've been having a little bit of a humidity problem. And that may have caused a problem with this breaker up here. All right, let's go get an inline breaker. All right, I've, I've killed power. Pulled out a disconnect that I felt like I may never get it back in again. I guess we know we're not we don't have power see this breaker we have hmm. all right I'm gonna need spade connectors on this end I gotta go get one two three four of them looks like all my reds on one side and black and white are on the other
in there. There we go. We'll just hook those up in just a second. Tight yet, but it's in there. All right, I'm gonna get this hooked up and see if there's a a way to um. I had turned the speed down on this and on the condenser because this was a two and a half ton, and this can be a three, but we had basically programmed it to be a two and a half. So I can speed up, I can speed up the air handler. I'm just gonna have to pull up something to remind me how to do it. big one here for that one heat strip just like on the other side All right, once I get all this hooked up, it's gonna be a challenge to get that disconnect back into place. All right, leave that off for right now.
All right. Let's uh, go ahead and turn that off. And there's a... There's a link right here. I think I can use to figure out how to reset that blower speed. All right, that led me to a series of videos and the video that I think may have covered that was an hour and 20 minutes long. I tried to zoom through it. Um, it looks like I probably need to pull it up on the manual, find the manual for this because it's one of the first ones I've installed. I probably got it saved as a PDF and come back with my um, manometer to um, check static pressure. So right now we're just gonna get them going and we'll make a point when we have all the information we need to properly adjust the fan speed to come back and, and do that. Good to go. I've got to do a preventive maintenance on this, on all three of these systems here in the coming months. I plan on readdressing that static pressure when I do. All right guys, so I did end up going back to that. I could not find the video of it. Um, I had that turned down a little bit because it was a two and a half ton and that was a three ton system that, that you see on there. And um, so the way I had it set up was already had a static pressure of 0.62. So I did not increase it any. I kind of left it the way it was and um i think it'll be okay it's just a little bit more moisture in the cabinet than i would like i hope you enjoyed these videos and it turns out the the new manuals actually help out with those older air handlers because um they're the same at least that part of them is i hope you enjoyed the video if you did how about like and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next one